There are some do's and don'ts when it comes to thinning out your plants. Sandra Mitchell and Nick Fedorov show us the right way to do things in this morning's In the Garden. Hey everyone, we're in the garden with our friend Nick Fedorov and the. Uh, yeah, if you need some help <laughs> over here, you know. It's a little out of control, Nick. What's going on? Well, what's going on here is that we have uh, Nandina domestica, which is called the heavenly bamboo. Mm. And this plant right here is one that I get calls on on a regular, regular uh, uh, basis on how in the world do I prune this thing? Mm. Well, typically what people will do is that they'll shear it. Mm. And the old gardeners that were here at the Pickwick Garden, they used to do that. And it's so nice to see that with the new people, what they're doing, they're slowly taking in their shaping and their mm -hmm. thinning and they're mm -hmm. doing the right pruning technique. And that's important for the vitality of the plant. Now, what's really interesting about this is that we can control how tall this gets without ruining the integrity of the plant. This particular plant, for instance, has these, see these canes right here? Mm -hmm. Okay, now what has happened is that through the years past, you see how they've oh, just yeah. cutting it, cutting it right here? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's no good. This is all died back. Oh. So what I'd like you to do is I'd like you to take as far down as you can all right. and remove it way at the bottom. Uh, with this little tool? Well, if it doesn't work, it will be okay. But you'll get the idea behind it. Yeah. Right? Did you get it? Nope. No. Nope? Okay, <laughs> let me help you out here. Okay. Uh, so we're going to take it down as far as we possibly okay. can. And here's the interesting part. Watch. You pull it out. You don't even know that you actually pruned it. So here's another example. I'll do one way over here, and I'll remove one down at the bottom. Okay. I've got disappeared, and now we pull it out. Hmm. Where to go? Just kind of thins it out. But what we did, yeah, it did take and thin it out. But what we did is that we created a little bit more airiness and openness, mm -hmm. and this is not going to occur any longer. Hmm. We don't want that to happen. Right. So let's come over here and take a look at this plant. Okay. It's, it is a really popular plant here in Southern California. It is called the Raphaelepis or Indian Hawthorn, and mm -hmm. it's known for its beautiful pink flowers in the summertime. Oh. So this whole plant gets yeah. blasted. It's also known for improper pruning technique. Most people take a pair of shears and they start cutting like Just this. Cut away. But uh, here's good. the problem. Look at the damage we're creating oh, for yeah, these you're leaves. Leaf. Look at you're going to use you're going to use a, a pair of these only on small leaf plants, mm -hmm. not on larger leaf plants. So with that in mind, what we want to do is we need to do this thinning out technique as we talked about where we take our hand pruners mm -hmm. and kind of like we did with the Nandina over there, we need to follow branching all the way through. So if I was to do something like this, I'd maybe come back all the way. And look at, there's, there's no leaves in here. Mm. So why don't you go ahead and lop that one off right okay, there. right there? Yeah, just lop that off. Now if you were to take in here to do this, and you look at it, it's, it's, we created a little hole. Right. And that's good for the air circulation and the mm -hmm. sun to penetrate through. You cut that off. There are, there are little buds that are up and around on this part right here that we can't see, mm -hmm. and they'll start growing again. Oh, okay. well, not on the one that we cut off. <laughs> but the whole, the whole idea and whole concept is that if we were to take these, these branches all the way back and we do this thinning out process, before you know it, you've got a plant that has been laced and that has been thinned out. So if anybody wants any more information on how to continue this whole process and to see what a plant that looks properly laced out, mm -hmm. feel free to contact me on my website, thingsgreen.com, through Facebook, uh, uh, at Nick Federoff or Things Green. We've so got a lot of plants to go through. Yeah, a lot of this whole <laughs> thing that just really can get thinned out. You know, you can actually take out more than half of it. Ooh.